Welcome everyone. To get started with Bixby in the S23 Ultra, you're going to press and hold the power button here and you can see the Bixby is going to show up. For the very first time, Bixby will ask you to agree to some terms and conditions. You may also need to sign into your Samsung account, but once you see this right here, you're good to go. So you just tap on the Bixby button and then you say a command. So what is the weather like today? Um, because I was giving a running commentary, it you know added extra stuff in. So let's try that again. And it's asking for some permissions. So I'll agree to permissions. And it should give you your answer. So I'm just going to cut to when it does give the answer. And that time Bixby crashed. Good job, Samsung. So let's try that again. So after the second attempt, it is now giving you the command. And there's a bunch of other things you can do when you just activate Bixby. Uh, so for example, you can ask Bixby to call people. You can ask Bixby to send a text message. And it will use your voice to understand what the text message says. You can ask Bixby to set an alarm. Anything you may want to do on your device, such as changing the settings, you know, doing some actions, there is a good chance Bixby will be able to do it for you. But you can see, you have to wait until this button shows up, then you have to tap this button, then you say, you know, take a screenshot. And there we go, it takes a screenshot. The question is, is Bixby faster than you with some certain actions? In some cases, you will be faster than Bixby. Like with the screenshot, I can just do this, and that's a lot faster. But with some other stuff, maybe setting an alarm, you know, calling someone, you may be a little bit faster with the voice assistant and Bixby is better in those scenarios. On top of this, there is a feature called Bixby Vision. So you will need to get the S Pen out for this one. And once you've done that, we need to get the Bixby Vision, which is this one here. And so what it does is, let's just open up a browser and let's just search for Let's just search for Bitcoin, because I saw that in my recents. And if I just get an image like this, and I highlight my S Pen over this, we can then, let's try it again, we can then look up the image, and it will image search what you were looking for. So it finds that this is a Bitcoin, as you can see right here. Of course, Bitcoin is like virtual, but I think it's just going to show physical bitcoins and it also shows balm cream as well cool nice and you can also use bixby vision to get the text so just try and get out of here so if we just highlight an area just tap on the text you can see it's going to get the text and this is useful if there is text inside of an image and you can't typically copy that, but with Bixby Vision you can. Now, if you don't see this Bixby icon in the S Pen, just tap on the settings. And then from here, we're going to see the air command. And then we're going to see the shortcuts. And then in the shortcuts, you see the Bixby Vision. Just add this to the S Pen and it should show up right here. You can also drag and drop if you want to move it up as well. Bixby Vision also works in the camera app as well. So if we just go to more here and we're gonna look for Bixby Vision. If there is, oh nice, I accidentally tapped on the screen, but if there is some text, so let's just go to some text there we go. You can see I'll get the text from an image. So if you're like looking at something on the wall and you want to convert the text in the picture to like text you can copy and stuff, you can do that here. You also have translate as well, which is cool if you want that. And if you go to discover, it will look up the image and tell you what it is. So this is an iPhone 10 box. And there's a wine feature, 
So if you love your wine, clearly Samsung does, you can find out what type of wine you are looking at as well. And that is the basics of Bixby. The voice assistant kind of sucks. If you just long press the home button, you're going to get Google Assistant. And being honest, that is 100 times better. But the Bixby Vision is pretty cool. And with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.